Hello there. I've been asked by someone who subscribes to the site going by the name of Cabin Crew to do a short interview about um, the interview that you actually have and questions that you might get asked, like personal questions. So I've got a few examples here. Um, so here's one. Please describe an occasion where you have collaborated successfully with others. Now what they're looking for here is probably something like teamwork. Is there some kind of project you worked on with someone else? Or perhaps in your job or another job you worked as a team. Maybe uh, you worked in a hotel or a restaurant and the waiters and waitresses in the hotel generally work as a team in the restaurant of a hotel or restaurant in general and in a hotel you will work as a team hopefully with the receptionist the the men or people who will carry luggage so how do you work or how did you work with those people as a team in any job that you've done any project that you've worked on um, here's another one. Can, can you give an example of when you overcame a difficult challenge? So what they're looking for here is problem solving. So how good are you at solving problems? So because when you're, you know, 30,000 feet up in the air and a situation arises, it's not like you can just go out, open a door or make a call to an outside source. You're limited with the other cabin crew, the pilot and first officer. So, or excuse me, the captain and first officer. So how would you deal with a problem? That's what they're looking for. Now this is another one here. Um, describe a situation when you have delivered excellent service. So what they're looking for here is something similar to teamwork but customer service. Obviously being a cabin crew a majority of the work is about customer service. When you are serving the food, the drinks or they try, you want to try and sell duty free. It's all about customer service. And another one here to do with confidence. Give us an example of when you coped well under pressure. Again you're 30,000 feet un up in the air there's only so, uh, so many places you can go to or so far you can go. Now you will get follow-up questions perhaps to do with these situations. For example, what was the situation and how did you do this or how did you cope with it? So it's not a case of you can just say, oh yes, I remember when I worked on a project and everything worked out okay. You have to explain how things went, how you dealt with the project, or if it was a problem, how you dealt with the problem. Um, okay, then they might also ask you something like, well, why did you do that? Or why did you choose that course of action? And did you run into any other difficulties? Um, now the next few tips are just general tips in any interview. Make eye contact. And I think I've said this before in other videos. Make eye contact with the interviewer. But not to the point you're having a staring contest with the person. You don't want to be like a fixed stare. Blink. Maintain eye contact with them. Generally in body language, if you're thinking about trying to remember something, you will look up to the right or the left anyway. That's just part of what your, how your brain works. But as well, you sometimes might look down for a second, just like you do in general conversation with your friends if you're in a casual uh, situation. You don't stare at the person, but you do look at the person. And if it's more than one person on the panel, look at each person 
in turn. But again, don't concentrate on the middle person or the end or this end. Take turns in looking at all the people on the panel. Something else. If you do not understand a question, ask them to repeat it or clarify it. There's nothing wrong with that because you may have misunderstood it or you may not have heard it correctly and there's no point in giving an answer to what you think you heard if you're not sure that you heard properly. This used to happen to me when I lived in California when I first moved there. I would say something to someone and I would get back a completely different answer because they didn't understand a word I was saying. So, clarify. Another one. Answer the question you have been asked, not what you want to say. Um, don't go off on a tangent. Just answer the question you have been asked. If you can't answer a question, be specific and say so. Um, but you could say, I did read about something, but I'm not entirely familiar with it. Just being honest. Because if you're put in a situation similar to the question they've just asked you that you're not sure about, and you end up on in training maybe, or on the plane itself when a situation arises, it's better to be honest and say, you know what, I'm sorry, I really don't know the answer to that question. But if you know about it in a sense that you've read something about it, say so. I always tell my other students, when you are thinking about a question, don't just say the first thing that comes out of your mouth. Put your brain in gear. And what I like to do is to if you're really a little bit nervous, a little bit stuck, take a breath and it gives you a second to think about what you are going to say. Another thing, I know that some languages, Spanish in particular, um, Chinese and I'm sure a whole range of other languages, you speak very quickly in the native language. However, if you have to speak in English, or even if you do speak in your own language, your native language, slow down just a little bit. Uh, this is what I used to do when I was teaching, when I first started. I used to speak a lot faster than what I do now. But I've learned over the years as a teacher to speak a little bit slower, so that hopefully everyone understands me. So even in an interview, don't speak quickly. What else do we have? Oh yes, don't fidget. Play with your hands, your hair, your clothes. Sit nicely. Maybe not completely ugh, straight backed, but comfortably with your shoulders back a little bit and maybe with your hands, one hand over the other sitting on your lap or on your knee but make sure you sit comfortably okay um, if you are offered a glass of water take it because if you're talking for a while there's nothing worse than having a dry mouth um, if you don't have experience of something then say so but then also say however I am interested in learning more about this subject. No problem there. Everyone should be constantly learning anyway about their in life. But if you don't know about it, say, that sounds really interesting. I don't know how to do that yet, but I really would like to learn. And that's about it really. Um, other, each airline will probably have their own set of questions. The questions are not there to trip you up, they're there to find out what kind of person you are and what you are like. So I'm sure you will be nervous and nervous is okay, but try and relax a little bit, be confident, 
but not overly confident. And like I say, eye contact, but don't stare. Show confidence, okay? That's it for now. I hope this is okay. And as always, good luck, and I'll see you next time.